Okay, so let's say we wanted to create a hollow object, kind of like let's turn this cube into a box, like a cardboard box. Like the walls will have thickness, but the inside will be empty. How do we do that? Well, I've already got my 3D cube here. I started with uh, just a 2D sketch and I extruded it up to give me a, a cube. And now I'm going to use the shell command. And if you can find it up here, that's what it looks like. If you can't find it on your toolbar because your toolbar is shrunk or whatnot, use your search feature and just type in the word shell or part of shell and you'll see the command pop up there. And now you can just click on an, uh, the uh, hollow check mark here or you can choose a face. But if I just click hollow, it will ask me how thick these walls should be. Let's make these walls, oh, let's say one thick. I know my cube is 10 by 10. And we're just gonna say okay. And now look, my cube still looks like a cube. Nothing changed. Um, let's punch a hole in it and see what happens. So I'm going to make another sketch real quick. I'll put it right here on this face. I'll just put a circle, let's say dead center, about like that. And oh, let's give it a radius or a diameter here so that it's um, legit. I'll say 2.5. No, I won't. I don't like the 2.5. Let's say 5. There we go. And we'll confirm that sketch. So now we've got a circle drawn on one surface of our cube. I'm just going to go to this extrude tool again, and I'm going to grab that space, and I'm going to say remove. And then instead of blind, I'm going to go through all and just check. And now let's orbit around, and we can see I just punched a hole right through our cube, and we can see that our cube is clearly hollow. Uh, I want a better view of this. Let's punch a few more holes. How about this side and this side? So I'm just going to sketch here, see if I can grab a center point there and there. Okay, diameter 5 again, and say okay. While I'm at it, I might as well get this one, and I'll track off that same point and that point. It's there somewhere, there we go. Diameter 5 again, and okay. Now let's go ahead and extrude that remove through all and extrude one more time that remove through all and now we have a very airy little box